this is a really common situation where students come to me and say, hey, Dr. K, you know, we're solving the two by two Rubik's cube and then sometimes it solves and it's amazing. And sometimes we get this situation where we have parity and they know that term because we use that term. And it's parity because these two corners, this corner right here, the red corner and this corner right here, the orange corner, they're both yellow and blue and red yellow and blue and orange, these two corners are switched. They are swapped. That needs to happen. So this is a situation where it only happens on a two by two or a four by four. It's a parity situation. And uh, students tell me, you know, what we do, Dr. K, is we mix it up and then we try to solve it again. And sometimes we get lucky and it solves. And sometimes we just end up at the parity again. And, you know, it's frustrating if you want to go quickly. But it's okay. It happens. This is a fun thing to notice, a fun thing to learn about. And I tell students, you know what? You already know how to do. You already know how to solve the parity right here. And the trick is, is that you can use the A algorithm, the PLL A algorithm to solve this parity. Let's take a, let's, let's, so what, what is that? So for example, when you're solving the three by three and you get to the situation and you know, you've oriented, you've solved the first two layers, you've oriented the last layer and you notice that you have headlights. In this case, let's say they're green headlights. We have headlights. We know that there's an algorithm that will solve the cube right now completely. We have, and it's one of our, our, our happy, where we like this algorithm. We, we put the headlights, well, we hold, and we, we notice we have a, a two bar right here and a two bar right here. And we know we have the headlights right there. So we hold the cube so that yellow is up top as usual. We put the headlights towards the back. We put the headlights towards the back. And then we have this algorithm that, you know, looks just like that. We've written it down. We've noted it. So it had, there's a setup move. There's a one, two, three. There's a D2. There's a one, two, three. There's a D2. This is the right-handed side. We're going to do it the right-handed side because we're going to do it on this side. So um, here, let's take a look at it one more time. If you want to pause the video, let me get it out of the way. And so the algorithm is... We put yellow up top. There's a setup move where we rotate the cube this way. So now the yellow is towards the back and the white is in the front. And if I ask you, where is the, where is the, where are the headlights right now? They should be here. They should be here at the bottom. So one more time, yellow is up top. Headlights are in the back. The setup move is in, in notation, we call it an X. We go about the X axis clockwise, uh, about the x-axis, clockwise. That's the setup move. And now we're going to do the algorithm on the right-hand side. R prime, U, R prime, D2, R, U prime, R prime, another D2, and now an R2. And that solves the cube. There's just an adjust your face. So I tell students, it's exactly the same way. You already know how to solve this. You don't have to mess up the two-by-two two cube and start over, and maybe you get lucky, and maybe you don't. Well, it's the same thing. Here it is. Here are the headlights, the headlights, the green headlights. We hold the cube the same way. Yellow is up top. The headlights are towards the back. And remember the setup move? The setup move is, that is just the, the rotation about the X. Now we have the white in the front. The yellow is in the back. Remember, right? Headlights towards the back. That's the setup move. And now we can do it right or left. Right-handed. Let's just stick with right-handed. And now... One, two, three, uh, D2, one, two, three, D2, R2. And now it's the same thing. Just adjust your face and the cube, the two by two is solved. And this is a cycle of two. So I could simulate, I can simulate the parity right now. For example, I could simulate the parity right now. I'll just do it on the left hand side. And see, there it is, the parity. That's the situation where we started. And I can also simulate the parity Oh, well, it's not parity on the three by three, but I can, I can reproduce it the same way. I can reproduce it the same way. I can just do the algorithm on the left-hand side. So see, now I claim, I claim. So Dr. Clay is making a claim here, right, students? Remember, don't just believe me. I claim that these two cubes are pretty much equivalent. And in a way, they are. If you think about it, they really are. Look, compare them. The three by three and the two by two. See how similar they are? They're more similar than they are different. Both of them have headlights, in this case, green headlights. And we solve it, in this case, 
right? We do the A algorithm on the right, and this time we can do it slowly, um, right? Yeah, I'll just put it there. R prime, well, first, if, if you almost forgot the setup move, right? The setup move, one, two, three, D2, one, two, three, D2, U2, and now adjust your face, and that's solved. Same thing here, right? Setup move, that's the setup move. One, two, three, D2, one, two, three, D2, and now adjust your face, and it's solved. And I tell students, you know, we love simulations because my job is to make them math geniuses, but also to get them into coding, because they gotta learn how to code, they're gonna be smart, and this is immediately right here, I can show them. This is a simulator, this is a two by two. I simulated, the headlights are right here, on the two by two, you know, right? We hold it, we put the headlights in the back, and now let's go ahead and play the algorithm. First thing that's gonna happen is the setup move. That's the setup move. And now we're gonna do the one, two, three. One, two, three. And now the D2. And now the second part, one, two, three. Another D2. And now an R2. Undo the setup move. And just a quick adjust your face. And the cube is solved. There is no limit to how amazing my students are and no limit to what they can learn and what they can do. I am the luckiest teacher in the world and this is amazing. And that is it. Beautiful cubes, amazing students. Thank you.